and local high school sports. Nickelodeon Slime, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and a packet of bubble tape. Boy, the 90s. They were great, weren't they? Those things were all popular back then. What hasn't been trendy, though, is not Central making it to the state baseball tournament. Tonight, the Patriots back at the state tourney for the first time since 1993. Or in other words, when it was cool to get green slime dumped on your head. Let's go to Whitaker Bank Ballpark. Not and Scott. First round at the state baseball tourney. Top first jitters getting the best of the Patriot defense. The liner uh, to left brings around Noah back for Scott. It's one nothing just like that. Senior chance cornered on the mound and once the nerves settled down, he took control. There's out number two in the first. There's another one. He had 11 strikeouts through six innings. He did give up six hits, but currently right now, not central trails. Three to one in this game. Austin Turner actually just scored on a pass ball for not central's first run of the game. We're going to the top of the seven. Let's go to Whitaker Bank ballpark and let's stay there. South Laurel making it back to back state tournament appearances. Let's go bottom first, two on, no out for Daniel Neal. He sneaks one past the third baseman to load the bases up. A few batters later, south up one nothing. Taylor Morris. Skies one over to short. That's in the outfield. Two runs crumb across the plate for the cards. They get three nothing to South Laurel. South Warren, though, takes a 4-3 lead heading into the fifth. And in the fifth with runners on, Wes King pops up. That's enough, though, to score the runner from third. South Warren knocks out South Laurel 5-3. The Cardinals had their opportunities, but they could not capitalize. They're eliminated. I've been blessed to coach them. Um, it's been quite a ride. Um, I think if you look back over the five years that I've had, all of them, a lot of the seniors, um, relationships that are built that will last forever. This is just a baseball game. Um, we're fortunate and we're blessed to be able to be in the state tournament. Uh, we belong here. Well, tonight at the Women's College World Series, all the defending champs needed to do was beat Michigan, and then they'd be back-to-back -back champs. Coming into tonight, Florida was 3-0 versus Michigan this season. Lauren Hager in the circle for Florida tonight. Uh, bottom one, no score. Kelsey Sasala bangs one to center. Uh, Christy Merritt, she can't handle it. Sarah Lawrence, come on in. 1-0 Michigan, top seven, same score. Haley Wagner, come on in, girl, and close this out. Closes it out with a strikeout. We have a World Series deciding game three on Wednesday. Michigan only needing that one run tonight to win it. Let's go to the bank now. Citizens Bank ballpark. The Reds in Philly since he has lost seven straight road games. Man on first for Joey Votto. That brings in uh, Brandon Phillips. Votto with a double, 1-0 Reds. Bottom one, same score. Ben Revere, a little blooper. Billy Hamilton be like, I got it. And I got a sweet Billy smile, too. Top third, still tied at one. Votto again. Phillips again. Scores from second. Votto two for five on the night. You saw both hits. Bottom eight, Reds lead 4-2. That's Michael Franco. Yeah, that's staying in the park. Not really, that's out of the park. That ties the game at four. Bottom nine, still tied. Darren Ruff. In to pinch hit with a runner on third, and that's his first career walk-off hit. Phillies take the game 5-4 and into seven-game losing streak. The College Football Hall of Fame ballot is out with the nominees up for election. Three of them have Kentucky ties, and to put this into perspective, more than 5 million people have played the sport of college football, and there are exactly 200 nominees on this ballot. Here are the three with the Kentucky ties, though. Quarterback Tim Couch and consensus first team All-American in 1998. He finished fourth in voting for the Heisman Trophy that year. He was also SEC Player of the Year, Marcus Thomas out of EKU. He finished his career ranked third all-time in rushing in FCS history, uh, over 5,000 yards in his career. And then Jimmy Feeks, coach at Western from 1968 to 1983. He won or shared six conference titles. The announcement of the class will be in January. Austin to see uh, Leslie County's own. Tim Couch on that list. Former top pick of the Browns as well. Yeah, that's right. right. And uh, still 3-1, top of the seventh. So hopefully not Central maybe can 
get a couple runs there in the bottom. At the state baseball tournament. Jamie, thanks. We'll wrap it up after this.